the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, who is Saint Nicholas? What do we know about him? He lived in Tort and he died in fourth centuries. He was a Greek. He lived in major Asia. His parents was very noble people, rich people. So he grew up with his also uncle who was a bishop. He also was named Nikolai. And he definitely taught him properly how to serve God. So very soon Nicholas became a reader, then deacon, then a priest. And he started really helping his uncle when he was serving to his diocese. After his uncle returned from his journey to Jerusalem, St. Nicholas decided also to go to Jerusalem uh, for ability to pray in holy, in holy land, to play, to pray in front of the where it was the last minutes of life of Jesus Christ. When he go on ship, he found that evil spirit also come to the same ship and he told the sailors that they will have very difficult um, their journey. And it, indeed, it was a huge storm. Uh, they have no choice, although sailors realize death is waiting for them. And because of prayer of St. Nicholas, the storm stopped and they was able to safely come to the place where they was going. After he venerated holy places in Jerusalem, St. Nicholas decided to become a monk. He decided to go to desert and to be as many of those monks at the time. He decided to serve as a monk, but he received a message from God that this is not what he is called to be. He came to my Lakia. And at that moment, the bishop of that city passed away. According to ancient tradition, usually people elect a bishop among themselves. So congregation decided who will be worthy to be a bishop. It was a big division among parishioners, among other bishops. And one older said, after they pray a long time, he said, I know God will show us the right candidate. The first man who will come tomorrow morning to the church, he will be the one. And this was St. Nicholas who came. He was ordained as a bishop of Myra in Lycia. He became a bishop. We know a lot of miracles, what he did in his life. It's just impossible even to count. Recently, I received a new book probably about a decade ago. The book was probably about 400 pages. It's a new miracle of St. Nicholas. He passed away in 345, some people say 351. So it's almost 1700 years after his death. And suddenly we found 400 pages of new miracles of St. Nicholas. How it could be? He is almost 17 years, 1700 years dead. What kind of new miracles can happen? Indeed, it happened. And those miracles happened in former USSR. Completely atheistic country and people raised with no faith 
with God at all. It was really a challenge for many of them to see God, to find God in their life. And many people was returned to God by Saint Nicholas. And nowadays we have their testimony how Saint Nicholas bring them back to church. It was different ways. There is many different stories. There is story of Zoya who was dancing with Icon. There is a story the man who didn't know the name of Saint Nicholas. He just know he is the saint and he was crying. The older man said, help me. And he was helped. Many, many other people when communists was killing people, St. Nicholas, many of them was saved because of St. Nicholas. There is a hundred of pages of those, of those miracles. St. Nicholas is probably the one saint whom celebrate the entire world. Although in late 50s Catholic Church that it's up to people, they may celebrate, may not celebrate St. Nicholas Day, but many people celebrate it, not only Catholic, Orthodox, but even Muslim, who have no saints in their face, they do recognize St. Nicholas. Many atheists recognize St. Nicholas. Of course, here in USA, we know St. Nicholas uh, Santa Claus, and kids definitely waiting for Santa Claus, and they know all the story about Santa Claus. What kind of names of all this, uh, his reigns, they know it. They know what kind of cookies he liked it. Everyone knows everything. Some sent a letters to St. Nicholas, what kind of gifts they expected from him. But in this business of Christmas season, unfortunately, many people completely lose it. That he's not just fatty man in red clothes who will say ho, 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 and nothing else. Actually, it was a saint of Orthodox Church. It was a bishop of Orthodox Church who indeed proved by his own life that he is a good example to everyone how to believe in God, how to pray in God. He also a good example for us how to be merciful to other people. Parishioners of St. Nicholas Church, when they decided who will be the patron, decided that St. Nicholas will be patron of our community, of our church. 116 years ago. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to the same Saint Nicholas, Saint who lived in the 3rd, 4th century, Saint who are, became a patron of our parish for over 100 years. Pray to the same Nicholas who made Thousands and thousands of miracles all around the world. Pray to him when we have trouble. Pray to him when we have some joyous moment. Pray to him when we have no idea how to deal. And pray even at that time when you truly believe you know everything, how it should be done in this world. Let us praise him, because he is indeed our heavenly patrons of our church. Amen. Christ in our midst.